mom is one of my great source of inspiration and uh, my father died early and we were um, four uh, uh, including me four uh, four sons and two daughters and she played multiple role to bring us up so i always used to think that women are as capable or more capable than men all they need is a little bit of a framework and a little push in the beginning Irritation is the biggest source of energy. If you are irritated about something, look them over very carefully. There lies an opportunity. We were irritated about a lack of a good quality beauty salon. At that point of time, good quality beauty salons were available only in five-star hotels, whose quality standards are very good, but is very intimidating, and price is very unaffordable. On other end of the spectrum, you have the local beauty parlors and the barber shops. whose quality standards are very bad hygiene standards are bad the technical persons are very not qualified as much we said there is a need for an affordable good quality beauty salon that was the idea we got veena is not a beautician she is not a hairdresser she is not a makeup artist and my knowledge of beauty is even poor i thought manicure is for feet and pedicure is for hair every first generation entrepreneur faces the challenge is where do i find the money i favorably call the three f's which is the friends family and fools collected the money from these three f's started with a lot of ambition lot of enthusiasm lot of eagerness and lot of passion veena and the technical head went to singapore to get a lot of materials first three years of any business is very difficult and the next three years are difficult the first year we made a business of uh, 20 lakh and made a loss of 10 lakh second year i made a business of uh, 30 lakh and made a loss of 5 lakh third year i made a business of 40 lakh and made a loss of 2 lakh that is the price we have to pay to understand this business fourth year onwards business has been good we started making that hitting that 50000 then 1 lakh then second salon we started then it became 1 lakh 50 and 1 lakh 50 became 2 lakh Twenty lakh, thirty lakh for a beauty salon means it is not viable, and we don't think it is a good idea. That is the banker's belief of the beauty salon at that point of time, and um, it's also a taboo industry. So that is another challenge what we have faced. But we have persisted. Went and met fifty-one, fifty-two. Finally, the fifty-fourth banker said yes, and he said, "Okay, I will give you the loan because he liked the husband and wife doing the business together, which is which is his." or they call he start something new in that finance is anyway i think there are there are months where we cannot we were worried about where we how to make the ends meet can we make the uh, can, will we be able to pay the rent will we be pay, able to pay the electricity lot of times a good idea if it is not well executed it will get media attention but it will not get customer traction that's one of our learning for us whenever some extra money is there i will go and invest and marketing thinking that tomorrow is going to be good but never has been like that at the early phase so but it took time for getting that traction but all those things helped me in a later point of time it made the brand bigger than a um, larger than life and that made people to join us at phase 2 why is this natural way successful how did this uh, women entrepreneur thing work i feel that it is because it is women entrepreneur it worked had it been a men entrepreneur it would have collapsed because women are very good in working in a framework men are little ambitious which also goes into the greed line and they want to be independent and they will cross the line women are very comfortable working on a framework not only for naturals business i think for any franchise business women are more suited because they work on a system they are not very greedy they are they are not really what you call they work in a, they were very detail oriented but i am talking about a rule there are exceptions uh, most of them were erstwhile housewives yeah and a uh, few of my partners are also my staff have become my franchise partners i wanted to do something of my own 
So uh, this when I heard about naturals, one good thing which I felt it's a unisex thing and so I thought like it won't be like I'm I'm running my own business. Always I'll have inputs, my, my husband's inputs also. <laughs> I don't feel that I'm now to get it, got into a hardcore business kind of a thing. And my friends also when they meet me, they say, oh, you've not changed. We thought you got into business, you would have changed. But because being in naturals, I told them that being in naturals doesn't make you change. You grow more as a person, you evolve more as a person. My partner's financially outlook has changed. This, the way in which the family looks at them have changed. The way in which they, which they look at them have changed. The way in which the society looks at them have changed. We are a byproduct uh, of a larger revolution created by Narayana Murthy's and the Asim Premjis. Because of that, today, the dowry system in this South India has really come to very minimal. No longer they ask how much dowry, how much jewel, how much what land. They now ask where is she working. So with that, they know that now this girl is worth 50,000 rupees a month. It is a golden goose. So now I have uh, a happy business life and a quality home, type of, home life also, personal life also. Obviously, obviously. Yeah. Women are my first choice. That's yeah. by default. And uh, I want gracious partners. That is the overall framework with which I look at. And I have six parameters to look at. One is absolute integrity because they are going to be naturals on the flow. Second is willingness to be a owner manager. We don't want to be an investor. Third is the ability to lead the team. People, most of them skilled, but they are not educated on a formal on a formal way. And the fourth is the good PR skills and the customer care skills. Five is the ability to invest the required money. And the sixth is the no knowledge of the beauty industry. These are the criteria with which we select a gracious partners. I like to see other people happy around me. That is the basic uh, thing. So. Uh, that that keeps me going. Difference lies in the DNA of the company. I think it starts with Mr. CK, and it trickles down to everything. So one is, as everybody mentioned, it is more of a human touch. So it's more of a parental approach, like a person to person. So we don't look everybody or okay, okay, I'm from the company, working for the company. We work with the people. We work with the franchisee partners. So we work together. It's Naturals brand customers will come once. Second, they will come all for that nice equipment and plush interiors. Time and again, they will come only for the smile providers. Somebody who can take care of them well, that's very important. Somebody who can take care of all the other stakeholders of the business. That's all put together, I call them as a gracious partners. Beauty is not the prerogative of the rich and the famous. Beauty has to be reached to the last person. So don't worry too much about whether you are getting the act right, whether you are getting this right, as long as it is good, keep moving and then you will gain enough strength to go and correct it.